Right, well hello everybody and welcome to my first scheduled live kind of recording with uh, here on YouTube. So what we're going to do today is work on this rod. I'm going to show you a variety of techniques while I do this. We're going to be here for 20 minutes, okay, so stay tuned and we'll see what we can do. Now bearing in mind it's my first time going live in the sense of scheduled, so please let me know how we get on and how it looks. Alright, so comments are welcome please all around. I think there's about a 30 second delay as well, so bear that in mind obviously while you're uh, watching this. So if I don't reply straight away, you know why, okay? So as I was saying, when I work on the rod, I'm gonna be showing you some of the techniques which I use, which obviously I do on my Patreon site, as you all know. And you find that with some of the techniques I use as well are um, means of layering, kind of layering the paint as we go along. That's exactly what I'm doing now. Just using a slightly darker color, a bit of a browny gray color. Which is what I'm working on. Okay. Oh, and don't forget, oh, thank you very much for everybody that's subscribed so far. It's very kind of you. Every subscription, you know, just so you don't miss some of my kind of live events on here. Just so you know. Right, I'm going to go to a little bit of raw sienna. That's fairly thick in there. So I'm just going to lightly water it down just a little bit. Just a little bit. And then we'll go from there. Now, please bear in mind any comments you make, I may not get them straight away. And if I don't see them, I'll definitely reply to them after the the, uh, the live recording. So don't think I've not seen you or anything like that. I will reply. Okay, I'm just having a look to see if there's any chat on there. I can't see anything at the moment. So bear with me a minute. Let's see what's happening on the screen. So say hello, all right, say so if I don't see it, I'll let you know. <coughs> right, okay, so what I wanna do, I'm gonna work on the legs on this Robin as well. So I'll see if I can get a little bit closer for you. And I'm gonna move that up so you can just see it on the screen. Hopefully you can see that. So uh, fingers crossed you can. And we'll see how that one looks on the screen. I want to see if there's anybody on board. Okay. Oh, well, there we go. Yeah, yeah. I'm just checking the internet, making sure I'm live. Okay. <laughs> Very unprofessional, I know. Right. So this is a mixture of Lizard and Crimson. Lizard and Crimson, Burnt Thunder, and Raw Sienna. And that will be, I'm thinking make a start on the legs as I say. So I'm going to zoom into my photo. The photo, by the way, out of interest, I'll see if I can find that one for you while I'm painting and just kind of bring it up onto the screen, which should be that one there. So you should be able to see that. And that's basically what I'm going to be working from on this particular painting. And this particular photograph as well is very detailed, very large. And it's one that's been supplied by Patrick Phelps, who's one of my contacts for photos. And very good indeed, so let's get back to it. All right, here we go. Now I'm looking down the left hand side leg. I've already got a wash of colour on here, just so I can make a start on this. Very lightly, using the tip of my brush. This is a size double zero, by the way. It's very lightly going down the side. I'm trying to see where this goes as well. I can just see down the bottom here, you've got a few hooks and shapes coming around and a few more little odd details in between but I'm going to wet this down anyway so I want to soften this back just a little bit we've got some grey areas in there as well some nice kind of shapes within the top of the the top of the leg so to say if we can have some feedback that'd be great because it is my first time doing this properly so just so we know what you think all the way down the side leg in the middle. Now, if I get some clean water on my brush instead, what I'll do, I will um, just lightly soften, very lightly soften the leg down. <clears throat> oh, one thing as well, let me know where you're from. Where are you from? That would be lovely to kind of hear that as well, because. Uh, I know people do watch from all over the world, uh, which is quite nice. 
but uh, it's quite interesting to know where people are from so please post below just put a comment down below and uh, I'd love to hear that so I just want to soften this down and while it's damp as well I'll add a little bit more in I'm very careful looking at the photograph here I don't want to put too much on in one go just like this softening and a little bit more colour just a little bit just down that edge again I want to get a little bit darker now then ease that in to the damp paper just a little bit there now I can see where it goes onto the I call these shorts by the way <laughs> this part of the bird where it goes onto the shorts just a little bit there and then I think what I might do is get some burnt tumber straight out of the half pans add it to my blacky brown I've already got mixed up and I'm, I'm going to add this just very lightly barely touching the paper the very tip of the brush just the edge of this leg just put a slightly darker line down the thing with watercolour as well as we all know with watercolours is that you do need to start off light and work your way to dark as you go along because obviously if you don't do that then I find it's harder to kind of repair any errors that you might make it's hard if you go too dark too quick so start off light and then work darker as you go along all right so that's so far let's see if anybody's on there yeah, so I've got nine people on there. Say hello, I want to know where you're from. <laughs> where do you live? Not precisely, I don't need your postcode or your zip code or whatever you're going to use. Just where are you? Now I'm going to go again. This is drying so quick underneath my lights tonight. They really are. Now I say tonight because here, it is now ten past six, or nearly, in the UK. So ten past six in the evening, obviously. I'm going to put a few little details within that leg as well. Just using, as I say, the very tip of the brush, two airs in air. That's basically all I'm using. I'm thinking about the curls around the bottom of the foot as well. Now, for that, I'm going to go to a little bit more of the raw sienna and add that in just to here. And a little bit more around there as well. I'm trying to think of the shape all the time. So raw sienna. I think we need some just down the inside of that right inside of the leg as well. When you think the size of this painting is quite small, so it's not very big at all. Um, so I'm thinking the actual size of this is probably about seven inches in height, roughly. But this is how I do all my paintings, just by layering, softening, and layering as I go along. Do you have a favourite watercolour paper that you tend to use? The one I've got here is Bockingford, which is a nice paper. It's one that I use on a regular basis. I'm going to come round to this side of the foot now. Just a little bit more around there. And underneath the foot. I'm trying to think about the shapes that's in there. Because you've got quite a lot of shapes, shadow shapes here. This is a shadow from this main piece of twig, which it is. So we've got a bit of a shadow there. So I want to make sure we've got that in. Then it curls around for part of the shadow. Then around there. So it's all about looking carefully at the photograph. The more you look, the more you will see. So bear that in mind, that that's why I've got a tablet in front of me, which I can't take off the stand at the moment, but it's, um, I've got one in front of me, which is just a normal basic tablet. So you've got a tablet or an iPad, even a mobile phone, you know, um, a mobile phone works really well as well. Obviously you can't quite see the detail as big as you, as you want to, to that degree, but, but a tablet is ideal because you can just kind of pinch into the photograph and see all those little details, as long as I say, it's a large photo to begin with because you do need that large photograph to work from 
Okay. Now I'm thinking about the shapes. You've got these little sections within the toe as well. So you've got one there, one there, one there. And just a little bit more underneath. So now that's slowly coming together. And believe it or not, it's actually dried already. So I'm going to go back to the alizarin crimson and a bit of the brownie black in there as well. Now, I tend to use black paint. I do, honestly. And the one I tend to use is lamp black. I'm just going to get some, I've got a bit of a run on my brush there, so bear with me a minute. Um, yeah, lamp black is one I tend to use on a regular basis. And it's uh, quite a nice, quite a nice black. Well, I tend to add a colour to it because it can be bland on its own, it can be very flat. And I know that black is one of those things which not everybody likes to use. So a lot of traditional painters will not use black or white. I use both within the painting. Whereas, you know, um, as I say, other people do use it and people use white gouache or gouache, whatever you pronounce it. I tend to use um, watercolour white. And there's a variety of brands on the market as well, by the way, watercolour white. So you want to shop around and see what you can find. So if you do buy watercolour white, if you haven't already got one, that's what I've used on the chest so far on here. And you can see it in the palette here as well. When you look at my palette, my mixing palette, there's a little bit just in the center there. If you can just perhaps see it on the screen, uh, which I use as a watercolor white. And that one's an opaque white as well. So be careful when you buy white. If you do buy it in watercolor, some are opaque, some are semi opaque, some are semi transparent, some are, some are transparent. I know, I know, I know. And it goes on. So, um, your choice. So any questions you've got, fire away. And don't forget, that even though I'm going live now, this is obviously a live video, I will be reviewing this. This will be saved on YouTube. So any comments you might ask after this has been live, don't worry, I will see those comments. I get notifications about any comments that's come through. And I'll uh, do my best to reply to your questions, okay? Now this will need some white highlights within this leg. But now you can see this is really coming together, it's starting to, isn't it? I'm looking at just the shapes down the bottom of the foot. It's getting darker as I go around by the by this little twiggy stick. <laughs> and just around to there. By the way, if you fancy painting a robin, have a look down the bottom corner just there. Look, that's my patreon.com forward slash um, the Devon Artist. Have a look on there, and I've got a full video tutorial on how to paint a robin, just like this one. So pop along to my Patreon page and have a look. It, there's no cost, there's no anything like that. You don't even have to sign up or anything. So just give it a go. I've even put the um, the reference drawing on there, the outline drawing. So it's all on there. So on my Patreon.com website, just down below. So I did shake the camera there. Sorry about that. <laughs> Right, okay, so now I'm going to go a little bit darker, just underneath the foot here. I'm working on these individual sections within the foot. Just making sure I can pick them out, not pick the claws, but you know what I mean. Just pick them out, and I'm going to outline the claws to begin with. They're not talons, are they, the claws? Talons are on birds of prey. And I can always go back in with a highlight in there shortly. I want to darken it slightly anyway, yeah. That's got to go that little bit darker. And this is just one leg. I know it takes a while. But bearing in mind I'm a fine, art, fine artist. Can't say the words now. And because of that, I like to work in as fine a detail as, well, as I like to go, really. So it's getting darker in there. Okay. So now let's get even darker. So I'm going to wash the brush out. In the dirty and in the clean and I'm going to go for some blacky blue now the blacky blue is lamp black and a little bit of French ultramarine I think some manufacturers just call it ultramarine don't they okay so we're working our way down looking at the underside of this now which is really dark this is where we start getting the contrasts when we get the white paint on there as well that really makes it zinc it really kind of brings it together Okay, you've got five minutes, guys, so five minutes left, and then, so if you have any questions you want to fire at me, I say fire them now while I'm on live. If not, as I say, I will check them later on. I'm just outlining the claw initially. Again, this will be 
touched up with a little bit of watercolour white just showing you the one foot at the moment I'll do the one off camera <laughs> just down the side a little bit round the front as well well I've got to think about the shorts haven't I as well let's just um, put a bit of detail in the shorts at the same time uh, I'm going to go for the same colour I think initially because I just want to bring some of this kind of leg colour into the shorts just there, that's all I need and then I'm going to get some of the shorts colour which is that raw umber well actually raw sienna in this case and raw umber I'm going to bring that in first of all just so we get some colour in there just a little bit and that's all we need and then a little bit of dark to go in on top of that as well so that's a brownie black so my paints are drying up quite quickly under this light today Okay, and then bring that one up. What do you find difficult about watercolour? What's your most difficult part? Don't say everything.